And this is the famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci. It was called a Madonna. And the little kid in the painting? That's Jesus. And after the painting was done, da Vinci was said to have exclaimed to another painter, I've really outdone myself this time. To which the little baby Jesus in the painting said, Up yours, Leo! Hence the pointed finger upwards. This is an actual French Impressionist Degas masterpiece called I found my rubber ducky, but I don't care. And here's an actual self-portrait of Edgar Degas. This is uh, the French Impressionist, and he's a very, very sick individual. Here he is with a phonograph stylus on his head. Here's a Degas work called An Evening at Richard Simmons' House. And here's another Degas masterwork called The Ballet. Uh, taken from the Tchaikovsky work, The Nutcracker. And that's supposed to be uh, the, the dancer in the middle. That's Anna Pavlova, the Russian ballerina. And, uh, <laughs> you see the guy, the fat guy sitting in the chair? That's Boris Pasternak, KGB agent. And after she dances in the second act, he gets out of the chair, he arrests her, and drags her back to freaking Russia. And you see that guy to the left of Anna while she was dancing? The guy waving his arms? He's not even a ballet choreographer or conductor. His real name is Pierre Delacroix, and he's an escaped mental patient from Paris. He's actually a veterinarian. He shouldn't even be there. They pulled him out of there after the painting was done. And do you see the woman to his left having a conniption fit? That's his wife, Giselle. Giselle Delacroix. She's screaming at him, Pierre, you're a mental case. Leave the freaking ballerinas alone. Come on home with me, you mental case. Another little mini masterpiece from Edward Degas. Circa 1859, I believe. It's called The Hangover. A woman is saying to herself, Well, I puked off the Eiffel Tower. Now I'll just puke on the floor here. And there's a very famous American painting from the 19th century by James Whistler. Everyone knows this famous painting called Whistler's Mother. And it actually wasn't Whistler's mother who posed for this. It was actually Betty White. Now back to the Renaissance again. This is a very famous painting called The Birth of Venus. I call it the hot chick born on a, on a shell. That's her mother on the right. Cover up, Venus. Those perverts are looking at you. And Venus, very coy, is saying, Oh, what perverts? Those are just the boys down the block. The ones on the left, they want you. And by the way, that's a wonderful hairstyle there, Venus. <sighs> oh, Venus. Oh, Venus. <sighs> I'm Frankie Avalon. And then, of course, there's Mona. How could we ever forget Mona? Why do they say she's the most beautiful girl in the Renaissance? Frankly, I don't see it. Okay. <laughs> no offense, Mona. But Leo, you must have been freaking blind. You must have something, Italian girl, because let me tell you something. Uh, Nat King Cole sang a song for you, and Leo painted your picture. So what? you must have something. If Leo wanted to paint an Italian girl, he should have painted Gina Lola Brigida. Or maybe uh, Sophia Loren. What the hell did he see in you, bitch? Uh, <laughs> so much for my art critique. Oh, now she's really pissed. She's giving me the evil eye. And I know underneath those hands, she's got a 38. Remember, she's Italian. And I'm not kidding, this is another really, really, really famous painting by the great Leonardo da Vinci. After painting the Mona Lisa, his signature work, he painted a second Lisa. And it was called Lisa J. Moore. Here it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's going to kill me. And then there's the great Michelangelo, who painted the Sistine Chapel. I mean, geez, how many years did he paint hanging upside down on a scaffold? I don't know, but afterwards they asked him, Why did you do this, master? He said, I got no life, all right? So I thought I'd paint a nicer picture. And the Pope, he promised me a nice a plate of spaghetti if I did, all right? Go away. But Michelangelo, master, now that you've finished this great painting, where are you going next? Hey, I'm a going to Disneyland, all right?